Please join us in our entrance song, Go Tell It On The Mountain.
Your Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow. For the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you. Dromedaries from Midian and Ephah, all from Sheba shall come, bearing gold and frankincense, and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The work of the Lord.
from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit, namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. That the Gentiles are co members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. When you have found him, bring me word, that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out. And behold, the star that, had, that they had seen at its rising preceded them, until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good evening, everyone, and Happy New Year. Happy New Year. All right. So today we're all back, right? Thanks be to God. And uh, for those of you who come to Mass for the first time since a very long time, you know, I would like to ask you, or maybe all of us, uh, one of the questions I want to ask you is, when you come to Mass, when you come to the church, what are the things that you pray for? 
What, what are some of the things you pray for? Anyone? Family. Family, okay. Anyone else? Peace. Health, okay. What else? Children. Families. Teachers. All right, back to have Many, many requests and many prayers to ourselves, right? In most of the time we come, we pray. But I wonder if I tell you this, that when you come to Mass or when you come to the church, you should not pray anything. You should not pray anything at all. You know why? I think today is the greatest thing for us. That why I say that? Today is a feast day of Epiphany. And we see that the Magi coming from away, far, far, far away. And they come. I wonder if you pay attention to the Gospel today. There is one word that repeated three times. Prostrate. Prostrate or what else? Or yes. homage. Homage, right? Homage. I think today is a great example for us to look at the way that we come to God. We come to God and pay Him homage. Another word for homage is we come to worship Him. And such what we are, we are here to, to come and, and give God thanks and, and to pay Him homage. You know, sometimes we often tell that we come and we bring all our, you know, our prayers. Like a long tree, laundry list of prayers. Everything that you want to pray. That's good. But the most important thing that we come to God is that we come to pay Him homage. We, pay, we come to worship Him. We come to give Him thanks. And I think today is a great day. Even though today is the winter mass, but today is still on, you know, the new year, first day of the year. And every, you know, every new year we come to give God thanks for the things that you know He has given us in our life. And we come to give that homage, you know, because that's what the, the Magi did. You know. Imagine the Magi, back then, you know, they travel a far distance, far, far distance. They said that the Magi may take months to travel from where they are to, to the manger, to, the, to Bethlehem, to see Jesus. And they take a great deal of sacrifice. Imagine back in the day, nowadays we have a GPS, right? These birds don't go anywhere. Now I have a GPS, I can go to anywhere I want. Just give me the address and I can go. But back then what did the Magi have? The star. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine, you know, go on a journey, no direction, no where to go, you don't know where to go, just follow the star. You see, that, that is a great trust. And they make a great sacrifice. They have to leave everything behind <coughs> to go on this journey, to worship, to, to pay homage to God. How many of us are willing to take that to pay homage to God? You know, we come to Mass, how long is it going to take us to go to Mass? 15, 20 minutes? Or you live a little farther, half an hour? And how long are, you, are we staying in the third mass? One hour. I think today is a great, great, great gospel. Great feast day for us to reflect upon the way that we worship God. Is Jesus worth, worth our worship? Is He worth our worship? She said yes. Well, we, we spend countless hours on TV, on the news, on programs, but yet we 
spend with God one hour, we think it become a burden. I think it's so wonderful that you know we begin with this feast to remind us once again that we need to come to God. That we need to make sacrifice because God makes that sacrifice Himself to come to us. He made great sacrifice to come to us. Remember, Jesus is God Himself. And He wouldn't do, you know. Remove everything, not to you know remain you know anything of himself as of God to become a human, to take on flesh, to reveal himself as a God of love. And today we see that he revealed himself that he is the God who come to save everybody, and he is worth our love. He is worth our you know homage. I think sometimes we just, you know, put God as, you know, not as priority, but the last things in our now list, things to do or in our life. You know, we usually fit God into our schedule instead of put God first on our list. I think today let us acknowledge the great sacrifice that the Magi have to take in order to come and worship God. Because they recognize that He is God. And He worth their journey. He worth everything of them. You know, when they, when they leave, you know, when they leave on this journey, they leave their family behind. They leave their kingdom behind. What have we believed to come to God? I think sometimes we just want to come to God to, you know, to, to ask for things. And we should come to God to do one thing, to give Him moment, to glorify Him, to give Him thanks for everything that He has done in life. So we ask God to continue to help us to be like the matter, to humble ourselves and to recognize that Jesus is God. Every time we are celebrating Mass, Jesus is here with us and we come to receive Him. We come to adore Him. We come to pay Him for Him and give Him thanks. May God bless you this new year. May this new year help you with your resolution to make more time for God in prayer and to come to Mass so that we can you know, experience the love so that God can continue to reveal His love for each and every one of us so that we can carry out that love to everyone in our life. Now let's stand and confess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from life, true God from true God, he God is not made, comes to save us from God. To him all things were made, for the same part of our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, was the heart of the Lord of and he came down. For our sin was crucified and crucified. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again in the third day. In other words, the scriptures, he has sent him to heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and this kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who from the Father and the Son is the Lord of the Lord of God, who has summoned to the cross. I believe in the one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess my baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the Lord of the Son. Amen.
we lift our prayers to Jesus. As we rely on God, continue to help be worthy steward of the grace of God. And so in trust we pray. That the faith of the church be the star that guides people everywhere to come to Christ. We pray to the Lord. The Lord be our prayers. That the work of astronomers and all who study the natural world draw them closer to the Creator of all things. We pray to the Lord. The Lord be our prayers. That those threatened by kings and rulers of nations may find a path of safety and a place to call home. We pray to the Lord. The Lord be our prayers. That infants everywhere may be welcomed with love and generosity. We pray to the Lord. The Lord be our prayers. That the doors of this community may be kept open wide to welcome people from every nation. We pray to the Lord. The Lord be our prayers. That those who have gone before us, especially Ann Council, the wife of Jeff Council, and Bishop George Schultz, the Auxiliary Bishop of Galveston, Houston. May they be welcomed into the eternal kingdom. We pray to the Lord. The Lord be our prayers. This Mass is offered for the repose of the souls of Alvira Moreno and Molly Jones. For this intention and for those we hold in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, be our prayers. <coughs> Lord God, you inspire the night time to bring gifts to the Holy Family. May the gift you grant in answer to these prayers help us to follow your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our duty and our salvation 
always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you make us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and all angels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as with our end we are claimed. Inheritance with your elect 
especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph and spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, the Order of Bishop, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you in their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Who live and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever.
Please join us in singing our first communion hymn, the first of all.
To renew my sacred nourishment, we implore your mercy, O Lord, that the star of your justice may shine always bright in our minds, and that our true treasure may ever consist in our confession of you to Christ our Lord. Be sure to see the thank you notes at the entrance of the church for many of the children who received your gifts on Gift Giving Sunday. 
And secondly, Father encourages you to take home a bulletin today and to read the letter from the Archbishop in there. He has removed the dispensation uh, for attending Mass. In other words, we are back to having an obligation to attend Mass every Sunday. And uh, but please read the letter in the bulletin this weekend. Thank you. Why are you Lord, Christ, Lord, Savior of the world, we thank us in your church, the Spirit of the Lord, the Son 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 of the Lord, Bowed up for the solemn blessing. May God, who has called you, our darkness into his wonderful light, pour out in kindness his blessing upon you, and make your heart firm in faith, hope, and charity. Amen. And sin in all confidence, you follow Christ, who today appeared in the world as a light shining in the darkness. May God make you. May you too a light for your brothers and sisters. Amen. And so when your pilgrimage is ended, may you come to him, whom the Magi sought as they followed the star, and whom they found with great joy, the light from light, who is Christ the Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of mighty God, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. I'd like to say, please uh, keep Father Joseph in prayer. He celebrates 12 years as a priest today. Today is the anniversary of priesthood, and it's also the twenty. Angels who never 